What's going on, everyone? It's your host, Spook Benjamin. Spook. And we're back with another great episode. All right. So we understand that there's a lot of theft going on. And it's not just ordinary theft. It's targeted, organized retail theft. And it's plaguing our city. We about to get to the bottom of this and see how all of this organized retail crime is coming into play. Let's get to it. It's a chilly, clear morning in the picturesque foothills of San Diego County as we head to a suspected crime scene. A convoy of law enforcement vehicles is about to descend on an unlikely place. A mansion complete with its own vineyard and chapel rented out as a wedding venue and Airbnb. Police believe it's also the headquarters for a lucrative theft ring where items stolen from Ulta Beauty Supply and other retailers are... Okay, so they in San Diego, California, and they don't hit a they don't hit a house that they think is the jackpot to all these thieveries. So okay, okay, I understand. All right, being resold on Amazon as so they still out of stores like Ulta Beauty, and it's being resold on Amazon. Okay. We pull up. Authorities tell us they have the suspected ringleader in handcuffs. Not good old Karen. Mm -mm -mm. Not good old Karen. They got good old Karen as the main suspect ringleader. Ringleader. Good old Karen. What are we looking for? There they are, right there. <laughs> and it's happening everywhere. For months, we got exclusive access to the California Highway Patrol, watching up close how it fights organized retail crime, which, including external theft, totaled $40.5 billion in the U.S. Damn. $40.5 billion in theft. That's crazy. It says external theft totaled to $40.5 billion in the United States. Psst. These dudes doing a major number to, the, to them retail stores. Yes, according to the National Retail Federation's most recent estimate. The fight is constant. On another day in another California city, we see more truckloads of what police say is stolen clothing, mostly from TJ Maxx, plus cleaning. Damn, that's my store though. I know they ain't hitting up TJ Maxx like that. And it look it seems here that they don't stole from Walmart too. Cause they got all them goddamn pods. What them is? Yeah, all them goddamn pods in a U-Haul truck. Crazy. And beauty supplies. Back on your head. The California Hive Troll is also California's state police. Sean Dory is commissioner of the California Highway Patrol. Okay, so they got the local police department and the California Highway Patrol getting in on this. We gonna shut this retail theft organization down and we ain't playing no more. Which has seen a 170% increase in arrests for organized retail crime. Ooh, they getting y'all boys. They getting y'all. 170% increase in arrests? Yeah, they getting y'all boys. In 2023, over the previous year. The public's had enough. I think retailers have definitely had enough. They've been victimized enough. And at this point, law enforcement's had enough. While organized retail crime is getting more attention from the public, retailers, and lawmakers, there's debate about if it's actually increasing. Retailers specifically pointing to theft as a growing problem in recent years include Target, Foot Locker, Walgreens, and all. Boy, let me tell y'all something. You see all them four stores? They got Target, Foot Locker, Walgreens, and Ulta Beauty. Now, one thing I know about niggas is dumb goddamn folk stores is niggas' favorites. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Dumb four stores, Target, Foot Locker, Walgreens, and Ulta Beauty is niggas' four favorite stores. Now we're going to piece all this together. 
Delta, but few quantify the impact or offer many details, raising questions in the industry about whether retailers are using the attention around theft to cover their own operational missteps. A National Retail Federation survey of companies identifying Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, Houston, New York, and Seattle as the top major cities hit by retail crime. Organized rings, as opposed to lightning... Hold up. Reverse. Reverse. New York and Seattle as the... These is the top five cities. Top five cities hit by retail crime. Houston. New York. Migrant crisis, Seattle, San Francisco, migrant crisis, Los Angeles. Them top five cities is where they hitting them boys the hardest. Them retail, them retail boys. They, they getting ran off. We gonna call them them retail boys. And re them retail boys said we had enough. We gonna shut all this down. We gonna move our stores up out of these goddamn hoods. In bad neighborhoods, and we're going to plug them somewhere else. The top major cities hit by retail crime. Organized rings, as opposed to lightning flash smash and grabs, use what are called boosters to steal items that then go to fencers who... Ooh, you heard that lingo? First, they get the boosters to get the item. And then the boosters sell them to the fencers. Boosters... Fencers. Ooh, that's that. Yeah, America, y'all learned some new street lingo today. Boosters and fences. Resell them for cash. I think people feel like it's it's hopeless. You know, nobody's going to do anything. I want the retailers and the victims of this to know that that's not true. Law enforcement is all in on this. Not just the California Highway Patrol. All of our allied partners throughout the state. If you're concerned. Law enforcement is all up in this. That mean they watching y'all. They surveilling y'all. Y'all the lab rats. We gonna plug the city up with crime. We gonna keep back, sick back, and surveil everything. We ain't gonna do no arrest, no major arrest, but we gonna surveil everything. And then once we surveil everything, and we come up with all this data, of how these animals react in this city, then we could go on ahead and end this community. Conclusion, this in the study. And the study's on y'all. Consumer and you're buying on an online marketplace. How do you know if the good you're buying was a stolen good or a good that was acquired legitimately? It's tough. And I don't know if anybody expects the consumers to do due diligence on every product that they're buying online. But I'll tell you, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. And it's probably coming from some nefarious activity. So you guys only got the out plan, correct? Yes. It's a few minutes after 6 in the morning as the police briefing starts for what's about to happen at that mansion outside San Diego. We have all our entry tools. Everybody bring them. Got them. Okay. And we got the... Shout out to Jim Kelly, Sergeant Jim Kelly. <laughs> Go take them retail theft boys down. ASAP. Today. Right now. I'm with you, Sergeant Jim Kelly. Shout out to you. You're doing a great civilian work. I mean, government official work. Great government official work. The ram, we got the pick. How long has this taken to gather the information? This investigation has been going on for almost a year. We've identified a total of 13 suspects who were. They've been picking up the data on y'all for almost a year now. Almost one year. Don't worry. Because it's coming to a conclusion. It's coming to an end. And now. We gonna get them boys. All them data we done collected, we gonna get them boys. All them retail people, them retail theft boys, we gonna get all of y'all. We're responsible for multiple thefts statewide and in some of our neighboring um, um, states. And these individuals you suspect are sort of bosses running an operation, is that correct? These individuals today are the fencing operations. These are the ones that are putting out the orders to the boosters to obtain this merchandise and then ultimately resell it to the unsuspecting buyer. At the mansion, CHP and agents from the Department of Homeland Security fan out looking for potential stolen items. The woman in custody is Michelle Mack. According to the search warrant, Michelle Mack is her name. And they claiming she's the ringleader. Poor old, po old Michelle, 
That's her name, right? Michelle. Paola Michelle. Scammers. The biggest thief of all. Take her ass to jail and sentence her to prison. She's in charge, giving a group of a dozen women across the country a list of retail stores to target along with the retail merchant. God damn. I told y'all. I told y'all. More women hitting licks than men. These women hitting licks out here. Licks. Licks after licks. Due to good old Michelle giving y'all the instructions how to carry out these organized retail thefts in these stores. Mm. Retail boys said they had enough. Merchandise. Those Ulta Beauty products then ending up on an Amazon digital storefront called the Online Makeup Store at deep discounts. Where are the goods being sold? You heard that? They stole them items. They listed them on Amazon. Made their ass a good ass Amazon storefront. And selling y'all them stolen merchandise. Selling y'all for the low. And y'all already know y'all gonna buy them. Because it's for the low. Our investigation leads us to believe that the majority of these goods are being sold through online marketplaces. Box after box are removed from the home. The search warrant alleges Mac has sold nearly $8 million worth of merchandise on the platform since 2012. And one text... God damn! He has sold... This man did a retail theft and then he sold all of them goods and profited $8 million? Is, is that what you're telling me, ma'am? $8 million? Mac done hit jackpot. Yeah, he done hit jackpot. This message to a booster. Mac wrote, did you get some new girls? I really need product. She's taken into custody. The next morning, a team from Alta unloads the hull along with CHP officers, sorting and carefully organizing everything. Most of it, $387,000 in stolen items. Ooh, good old mo money. To some good old organized retail theft. This is great money. $387,000. This is how much they make in an organized retail theft. What a lucrative business. What a lucrative business. Wow. Items from Ulta, according to authorities, but also some items from Sephora, Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, Sunglass Hut, and Lens Crafters. Boy, they hit, they hit all them stores up. Lens crafters too? They selling the blind people? They, they selling people that need glasses? Damn. Let, let, let's re what, who them boys they hitting up again? Bed, Victoria's Secret, okay. Bath and Body Works, okay. Sunglass Hut, Lens Crafters. Ooh. Them, them, top, them, them top stores they getting? Mm -mm. Bath and Body Works, Sunglass Hut, and Lens Crafters. And these boxes of manila envelopes, they were being mailed to customers who ordered from the online makeup store who now aren't getting anything. Like Donna Washburn, who says she bought her daughter a $42 makeup item for Christmas. I looked at the different places with prices. God damn. Thanks to them good old, them good old highway patrol boys, all of that thing getting shut down. And it needs to get shut down ASAP because them retail boys getting tired. They getting fatigued. All this retail theft going up in these cities. Them, boy, them boys in blue, y'all need to step it up. But I'm going to end this short, though. I love y'all. Y'all have a great night or a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Catch you later. Deuces.